Okay, let's see how we go with this example. It says, find the equation of the parabola with focus, 0, 5, and directrix, y plus 5 equals 0. Now, what sorts of things did you hopefully um, pick up on first read through? That obviously equation, we're getting the equation of the parabola. It's talking focus. What's coming to mind? Hopefully your... Um, x squared equals 4ay or maybe y squared is 4ax or I guess we could have a plus minus and a plus minus covers all four then the directrix oh hang on directrix is y is equal to y plus 5 is equal to naught now we're not used to that yes that is a straight line y plus 5 equals naught and I think this is a good example of where we're going to build our confidence that even when questions are not exactly how we expected them to be, we can get them into the format we need them. So while that equation of the directrix is not like we've previously seen, I hope that for most of us we're not going to be too prob. Uh, but it's not going to be too much of a problem for us to say, but hang on, that's exactly the same as y is equal to minus 5. Now, these are the sorts of little variations that come up all the time. This is a situation that you need to become familiar with, and more than just familiar with, but confident that you, whatever little change they're introducing you're going to be able to handle that change get it back into the format that you want it to be and then go off uh, uh, through the solution mm, yeah using the concept that you, you've you've been practicing so was it we go back to our, uh, now that we've fixed that up, we'll go back to draw the sketch if possible. So what does our sketch actually look like? We've got focus here at 0.5. Oh, sorry. Focus at 0.5. And the directrix is y is minus 5. Now we can see from that that it's probably going to be pretty straightforward. If that's the focus, it must be inside the parabola. Hence the parabola must be sitting here for the directrix to be there on the outside of it. What sort of information can I get from that? I can establish from that immediately that A is equal to 5, the focal length is 5, and this is an up. So now I'm going to decide which one of these uh, I need. Of the parabola is a standard up, concave up. It's positive. I'll be using x squared is 4ay. So my equation becomes, because I've established that A is 5, x squared is 20y. So that's very straightforward and quick. If we follow these four steps, have learnt the standard forms, know the uh, meanings of the words uh, or the dimensions that may be given in describing the parabola, and of course then also keeping our cool and not being put off just because some of the information is a little bit different. Um, I'll stop the video there and do example two in another video.